I think my childhood was pretty normal. It definitely felt safe and innocent. You know, I grew up in a very small town. You knew everyone. You never locked your doors. To me, you know, you didn't really have any worries. One of the downfalls about growing up in such a conservative small place is having to hide your true self. You know, I knew I was gay when I was five years old. And I knew what that meant. I also knew that you're not supposed to act on it, right? So there's so many things that you're taught as a kid, especially growing up in the church, you know, those lessons are given at an early age, which makes a kid question themselves and, and actually start to hate themselves and feel very lonely. That was definitely, you know, not the, the most fun growing up, knowing that you had this secret that you would have to hide your whole life. I was 16 when I joined NSYNC. When we finally got that record deal in Germany, our moms went out with us the first year on the road and basically acted as our managers. Uh, they wash our clothes. It was a good transition for me, coming from such a small conservative town to living in Munich, Germany, where you're exposed to a lot, uh, especially sex. It was eye-opening. At that time, everyone's starting to have their first girlfriends and dating, and I kind of, you know, put that to the side, and now I had a career to have an excuse to say, oh, I'm too busy for that. For a few years, it was kind of easy to get away with because people didn't expect me to have the time to have a girlfriend. Being in the entertainment industry, you get told certain things, and they allude to certain things. You know, no one ever flat out said, listen, if you're gay, you can't do this. But they would do things like, look, if you have a girlfriend, like you can't really talk about them. And, uh, you know, remember, remember your audience, your fans out there, they don't want to really know about your personal life. So that always to me was kind of a backhanded, like, look, we know you're gay, keep it a secret kid. Also being in a boy band, I got called gay every single day that I was in the band. And it wasn't because they actually thought I was gay. It's just because I was in a boy band. All of us got that. I definitely wasn't singled out. I think all of us got it equally. You know, one thing that I didn't have growing up was examples of gay people, you know, especially in entertainment. Um, everyone was hidden. I didn't really have anyone to look up to, but now this generation has so many people in the public eye to relate to and be like, oh, that, that sounds like my story or that's the type of family I have. Now we have like Troy Zavon and people, I mean, 20 years old, look, Jojo Siwa, especially Lil Nas X. And it's been so great for his community. You have all these young, uh, young celebrities that are really accepting who they are. And because of that, their fans would probably accept themselves earlier. I mean, when I came out in 2006, I don't think anyone would come out on the cover of People or really any magazine these days. No one cares, you know? Everyone's just like, okay, this is just normal. My niece and nephews, they were really little when I came out. I remember the first thing that they said, they, they didn't understand it. They're like, why is this a big deal? They could not comprehend why people cared about us being gay and why it would be so big to put you on the cover of people. It really encouraged me to know that this younger generation is so accepting and they just, they look at it as kids and they don't know any different. That's just the reality of life to them. Being from such a, a small place and conservative place, we really didn't look outside of our town. You know, it was all about family, all about your friends. Well, now that I'm a dad and the twins are here, there are certain things that I want to expose them to. I want them to be way more well-rounded and exposed to different cultures and different people. I'm excited that the village that we have around them come from such different walks of life and they're gonna get to know those and kind of get to choose the things that they love and they gravitate towards. I'm gonna, you know, expose them to everything and, and encourage them to go into the fields if it's a certain profession or a religion. I wanna support whatever they choose and they figure out themselves. There's definitely no plans for an NSYNC reunion right now. I mean, never say never. But with the twins here, I probably won't be able to do anything like making an album or tour for quite a while now. We've all moved on to uh, different things and have you know crazy different lives. But the good thing is we all are still so close. They are family. Mm -hmm.